Now wasting time, just sticking right to the point. Gaming has become full of bull crap. Start to finish all of it, all genres, and maybe what I'm saying is inspired by deep anger and resentment building up over the years. Okay, before I complain about specific genres, let's talk about gaming as a whole. I started gaming when I was a very young child, and over the years, I've come to realize every game that I used to love, I've grown to dislike. Now, it's different when you're playing chess, for example. Oh, you play chess? Actually, never mind. Chess is another game that I started disliking over the years. I legit cannot name a year, a game, that I don't dislike because every game has this spiel of oh i want to last an eternity or oh it's a successful game make a sequel that just ruins the game and by the way the games that fall into that category are for example games that live on forever are you know chess it's like man can i enjoy chess can i play against people my level i don't want to go open chess.com to find people i want to find a real human being which a i've reached a point where I can't play casually, I am just way much better than the guy who knows nothing about chess, which is obvious, duh, I've played chess, obviously I'm better than ones who don't play chess, and that's the issue, that, that is the real issue, other people who don't play chess, or my bad, other people who play chess have either studied it, or spam it, or play it actively, you can't just pick up chess randomly, you can't just be like, are you in the mood for chess, and you just play. Again, to me, chess is like a game I play once in a year, and it's usually mentally stimulating, because even if I'm going to win or lose, I love doing stupid plays and watching my enemy squirm, because, okay, if they take my piece, I take their piece. I, I enjoy their physical reactions. I enjoy them squirming. It's like, at this point, I don't care if I win or lose. I'm playing for opponent's reactions. And so, that's chess, but now, oh man... Everyone studies the game, everyone has min-maxed the strategies, you move one pawn a little wrong and the enemy is like, ha, you just blundered your opening. Uh, it pisses me off, but that's chess, that's real life. Let's talk about gaming electronics. A game that I've grown to dislike over the years is Pokemon. Oh my god, a moderately popular game? Let's make a sequel that is worse than the ones before them. Uh, they peaked at Pokemon Black and White. Everything after Black and White has been going downhill. And the issue is... The issue is, the adults at the time insulted black and white, and so Pokemon is too afraid to go back to their formula that made black and white so good in the first place. Anyways, this is not a Pokemon black and white talk video, but yes, Pokemon is a living example of a game that over the years I've grown to resent because people play it out of nostalgia, less about skill, and let's not talk about their TCG, which is pay to win, as is expected with every card game, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, other card games, yeah, that's the issue with card games, is that if they want some level of viability, they have to keep constantly innovating new ways to play the game, and everything else before it gets power crept, like, oh my god, it pisses me off that they have to power creep the past, and it's like, okay, Go find yourself a player who wants to play the older formats, or go find yourself a player who wants to play a similar generation deck. Because, for example, if I use a Gen 5 deck, let's just say, for example, that's an XYZ deck, enemy plays Synchro, I will always win. Oh, enemy's playing Pendulum, oh, enemy's playing Link, they always win. It pisses me off, but the only way I win is if I draw my best cards and my enemy draws their worst cards. My enemy has to brick Well, I need the absolute maximum luck on my side to win and that's it luck every game especially gotcha games but that's my fault for playing gotcha games you know like i love my happiness and future choices being affected by whether i can pull a specific unit or not but that's not just unique to gotcha games actually like hear me out even non-gotcha games have gear systems and these gear systems have oh very low drop rate for you to get the appropriate gear piece but then wait leveling up the gear piece also has rng so it's already difficult to get the piece itself and it's even more difficult to upgrade it and get it the way you want it. God forbid you want to play a specific playstyle, well, good on you. Now let's talk about multiplayer games. Uh, games like Risk of Rain. Oh, you have 
random people with you or could be your friends oh they took the buffs while you don't because guess what they've played the game before you they know the formula before you well they get to play for an entire hour while you just sit there and watch and you know you can hit me with the just play better just be faster just enter their level that's the issue gaming has reached a point where there is simply no fair ground either this person has played more than you or you're incredibly luckier than that person there's just no this or there let's talk about another game league of legends and i know you might say hey league of legends is notoriously known as a bad game uh exactly that's why i'm mentioning i'm mentioning it because it's the most popular example i can give 5v5 game God forbid you don't have one ping, if you have 120 ping, which in my opinion is very good, yeah, 120 ping isn't enough. Apparently having good internet, no, you need to live next to the servers in order to be able to play that game properly. Okay, forget ping for a moment. What about teammates? Okay, listen, you are the common denominator in this game, but we go back to chess. If you want to play this game as a new player it is absolutely raw dog trash because even your very low rank players have been playing this game for seven to eight years to the point where unless you put so much effort there is no way for you to catch up and so we enter this formula of hey if you want it any chance and i really mean it if you want any chance at being good at being a high rank, at being anything, you need to be there the moment the game starts. And you need to be there until it finishes. And again, that's the issue. Games like Super Smash, oh boy, I can't wait for new characters to ruin the entire game. At this point, it's not even the same game anymore. Oh, Steve was added. Oh, mechanics I will never understand unless I play Steve. And not only that, I need to play him to mastery to truly understand what he does. I love it when a new character, you know, paid behind the paywall, is absolutely better than the entire roster. And that brings us back to the next topic, metas. I despise metas. You want to play a certain way, or you refuse to play a specific way, but that way just happens to be the best way. You know, like your methods, your strategies, your favorite units, be it aesthetically, art-wise, voice-wise, or it just suits your personality, whatever it may be. You wanting to play your own style equals you are bad. That's the issue. You wanting to play the game the way you want it is considered you being less skillful even though technically you can play meta that's like picking dark magician deck or blue eyes white dragon deck when you can just go whatever the frick uh, link decks are out there uh, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh thing but like let's talk about for example epic seven oh shit this guy wants to pick silk in rta this guy wants to pick chloe in rta this guy wants to pick his own favorite units but guess what they're all trash unless you have the best gear oh wait i forgot you can't even roll the gear the way you want it do i need to continue how much is in your control that's the issue when you have you when you have things in your control it's a boring game because then it might as well be a single player game and that you know what i take it back i take back the entire point of this video uh, you know now that i mentioned single player i'm thinking hollow knight perfect game good soundtracks good gameplay good mechanics good everything uh, I, I just don't know what to say like i'm trying to think about hollow knight i cannot find anything negative to say i guess the most negative thing about hollow knight is the fandom is starting to go insane waiting for the next game and you know Maybe in the future, maybe. When Hollow Knight is so successful they make their fifth game, maybe then I'll begin hating the game. Something to think about. Something to think about. Anyways, I don't know if I'm uploading this. But if I do, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.